What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at data types. If you've worked with data at all, you know that data types are very important. And if you haven't, you're in the right place because we're gonna talk a lot about what data types are and how they are used. So with that being said, let's jump onto my screen and take a look. So let's dive into it. Let's take a look at what data types are. Now, data types, really quickly, before we jump into the definition, data types are something that if you work with any data in any way, data types do pertain to you. These are things that you need to know. These are things that eventually will either help you or hinder you on whatever you're trying to get done. So, a data type is an attribute associated with a piece of data that tells a computer system how to interpret its value. Every single programming language, every database has similar but slightly different data types. I've worked with all types of programming languages in lots of different databases, and they all act somewhat similarly, but they can be different at times. So knowing the core concepts that we're gonna cover in this lesson can be really helpful to kind of traverse the different types of data types in different systems. To get started, there are a ton ton of different data types. I mean, there's probably 50, 60, 70 different data types. I'm just throwing out random numbers, but they all fall under certain categories. They're usually either strings, which are things like free text, numbers like one, two, three, or date and time. So January 1st of 2024 at 6 p.m. These are kind of the core fundamental data types, but under each of these are a lot of other data types as well. Now within string, you could have something like a name, John Smith, Emma Johnson, this is very simple data that you can categorize and you can use. Next, it could be an address, 123 Main Street, New York, New York. This is something that can determine a location. Then we have something like product categories, electronics, furniture, etc. These product categories are all strings, but then can be used later on in the data process for things like aggregation. Maybe you want to see how many customers are buying electronics at your store versus furniture at your store. You have to collect that data. You do that with string data. Next, we have numerical or numbers. This is probably the most simple data type. It's integers, 25, 100, minus 15. Then we also have decimals. These are both two separate data types. So decimals is like 12.5, 99.99. Now within certain systems, especially databases, they'll have something like a big integer for really large numbers. They'll have something like a small integer. They'll also have just a regular integer. Within decimals, they may have something like a double point system or a decimal data type. So within each of these, they may have even subcategories of data types. Next, we have date time. The dates could be something simple, like 1210 of 2024. We have a day, a month, and a year, or it could be month, day, year. There are different formats within dates. Then we have times or timestamps. So times just indicate the time of the day. Then timestamps are both date and time combined. So the timestamps tend to be very specific. Then we have dates which give a general day and then times that just give a specific time. Timestamps can be very useful, but oftentimes when you're working with it in the real world, you'll break out these two data into separate columns. You have date in one, time in another, and that may allow you to do more advanced things with this data. So understanding what data type your data is, is really important because that allows you to work with it and analyze that data in different ways. For example, if we're working with numerical data, we can use that to calculate averages. You could say the average person is spending this much on our website per day. That would be an example of how you can use numerical data. Or with string data types or categorical data, you can group it and count on those occurrences. Or you can do any type of aggregation, sum, max, min, average, median, all these different things. You can see how many people are buying things in our electrical department versus our furniture department. And that is worthwhile data to use. That really is the basics of data types. Now, if you go into specific things, like if you go into SQL or if you go into Python or Excel, I have a lot of lessons specifically for data types in those systems. And then it gets a little bit more complex. And so if you want to really dive into data types in a specific system, go into any of my playlists, whether it's SQL, Excel, uh, Power BI, Tableau, they all have different data types. And you can learn a lot more about data types within that specific tool. With that being said, I hope that this was helpful. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below, and I will see you in the next one.